Shalom Aleichem. We have Sefer HaMitzvos Rambam. Uh, this is from the Sefer, the, the Sefer of the Commandments, uh, according to the counting of the Rambam, the Maimonides, the Lomde Hashir Hayomeh, for the people that want to learn the daily shear of learning the mitzvos of the Torah, according to the Rambam. So anyway, let's take a look at it. HaMitzvah HaMashlima. The concluding mitzvah of it's like a series of uh, mitzvahs here. So Reish Mem, this is the Reish Mem that's I think two hundred and forty. Ho Azara Shehuzharnu Milim Noah Hamashkon Mi Be Olav Bisha Shehut Sarichlo. It's the commandment that one should not uh, withhold the security. Of uh, of the person that one is taking the security for, in other words, let's say a man, somebody owes you money, and he gives you a security, you shouldn't hold on to it. In the time when he needs it, we'll see what that means in a minute. We should not hold on to the security when the man or person the the person needs it. Ela nachazir lo kili yom bayom. Lila by Lila, but we should return it to him. A, uh, the, in other words, something that he needs in the daytime, let's say for work, whatever it might be, part of uh, something that he works with. Kaliyom bayom, a utensil for the day in the daytime, we have to return it to him. Uchli Lila by Lila, and then something that one needs at night and the nighttime, let's say. Uh, pajamas, garments that one uses, or bedding, or a pillow, if one has only one pillow, when we, we have to return it to the person that gave this as, as a security. Kemosha Umra HaMishnah, like the Mishnah says, Bava Metziah Perek Tes, Mishnah Yud Gimel. It says it in Bava Metziah, uh, the, the Perek Tes, that's the ninth Perek, Mishnah Yud Gimel, that's the thirteenth Mishnah. Machazir esakar balayla v'yasamacharesha bayom. One has to return the bedding at night. V'yasamacharesha, and I think it might be a plow and and a plow during the daytime. In other words, the bedding that's what you, the man would need at night. So we have to return that to the person at night. V'yasamacharesha, the plow thing, something a utensil he needs for the day. Has to be ter- be returned in the for the daytime. V'yahalav shabo be'inyan zehu omru yisale, and the the love the the commandment had we learned this out from the Torah, because it says in the Torah, lo sishkav ba'avoto, one should not sleep with his security. In other words, one shouldn't sp- spend the night with the person's mashkon, his security. In other words, one has to return it. To the person, when one needs the person needs the bed clothing, or one needs the uh, the the bedding, the the blanket, the pillow, one has to return it. It's a mitzvah to return it, and it, so it, it, it's an avera to hold on to it, to hold on to it, withholding it from the owner. Well, the shon sefri says in the sefri parshas ki seitzeshon. One shouldn't go to lie down to sleep when one has the person's security. In other words, the security he gave you, his pillow, his bedding, his, his blanket, one, one, and it's the nighttime, one has to give it back to him. And in the morning, he can come and return it to you. Ela machazir lo mashi'i afshar lo biladav. One has to return to him that which is which he'll find it impossible to be without. In other words, he needs his bedding, he needs his light, night clothing, and so if he needs it, that means we have to. One has to give it back. It's a mitzvah to give it back. Ela machazir lo mashi'i afshar lo. We have to return to him what that which is impossible for the man, for the person without it. So one has to return it to him. 
and one doesn't have any other substitute for using instead of that. That's the only one. Machmas uh, onyo because he because of his poverty because he's a poor person. Kamosha beir because as it is explained, Yomer it says in the it says in the Torah, kihi chisuso. This is his blanket. This is what he covers himself with. Levado kihi chisuso levado. This is his only covering. He simla so li oro. This is his clothing that he needs to clothe himself. In other words, this is the only. This is all that he has. If this is all he has, it's a mitzvah to give it back to him, even though it's a security and it's an avera to hold it, to keep, to hold on to it, because this is all he has. He's a poor person, and this is all he has. For his bedding, this is all he has for, or this is all he has for clothing. Shemos Chavbez, this is in Shemos. That's Exodus Chavbez, that's the, the, the chapter 27, Chavbez, Pasuk 26. Ukvar Nisbaru, Dini Mitzvah Zub, Perik Tes, Mibaba Metziah, Shem. And we, it, this has been also gone through, made clear of the, din, of the, the, the Dinim, the, the, the halachos, the, the rules, the, the, the laws of this mitzvah in Perak Tes, that's the ninth Perak of Baba Metzia. Of Baba Metzia, the, the, the Talmud Baba Metzia. Here, this is Shir Reish Tzadik Tes. This is uh, a Shir, another, another lesson, the 299. That's a Tzadik would be Yes, that tzaddik is 90, 299, I think race is 200. Mitzvah Slosa say, I'm not very good with the numbers here. Mitzvah Slosa say, Reish Mem Hei, Reish Mem Beis. Hilchos Malve Velove Perik Gimel Tesvav. The mitzvahs of loaning money, of uh, loaning. Ha mitzvah ha Reish Mem Aleph. Ha Azara Shehuzharnu Mele Mashkein Almona Bain Ania Bain Ashira. It's a mitzvah. It's a it's a it's a, it's a, a, a negative commandment. In other words, it's one cannot uh, do this. It's it, it's a it's a, a, a negative commandment too. That one should not take a mashkun. One should not take a security from a widow. Bain Ania Bain Ashira. But whether this widow is a poor person. Or whether she happens to be a rich person, who I'm rowing. It says in the Torah, "Velo sachabo beged almona, devarim chavd alad yezayin." One should not lo sachabo beged almona. One moment. <coughs> 